Okay, so it's time for us to try to draw an actual figure. This one we did manually, so you've actually kind of thought through it before. So that's why I chose this one. So we're going to create this in AutoCAD, right? So again, we're going to open AutoCAD and we're going to go find our title block file. Uh, I think for most of you, it's in downloads. Now I got to remember where mine is. not exactly our title block but we'll make it work for here okay so you should have your title block with the strip across the bottom we do it need to edit it and put Harrison Bay in there but we'll figure that out later okay so we want to start drawing so I'm gonna to go to the I'm going over to my home tab so that I've got line and move and all the things that I need um, up here, these are our layers. We haven't talked about this before, but um, as we were doing our manual drawing, remember we talked about line types. So notice on this list, I have an object layer. I have a hidden layer. I have a center layer for center lines. Um, I have a dim layer for dimensions. Uh, these are set up to give the different line types uh, as we're drawing. So in this case, I need to be on object because I'm drawing object lines, right? So I'm going to be drawing all of these outside lines before I put my dimensions and stuff on here, right? So that is my uh, object layer. So I'm going to click line. So what I'm going to do is create a start point. Um, I like to start at that lower left corner. Everything kind of connects nicely there, right? And then I'm just going to kind of pick a direction to go. I do have to draw this as I go. Now, we have done this. If you remember the doggies and some of the other things we've done, I know this dimension. So this is a three inch dimension at a 90 degree angle or a three inch dimension along the Y axis with a zero in the X. So I can type either of those in here, right? So I can say uh, at three, less than 90 and there's my line I'm going to show you a shortcut now though so if I put my cursor out and I get this dotted line across the screen so you can see it that green line going all the way out to the right I am locked you can see on the zero degree angle I'm gonna come down here and figure out my dimension again I think it's one yep so one so I get myself locked on that angle and then if I just type the distance one enter Basically, it's like I typed the at one less than zero, right? So it's like I typed it in with the angle. So this is a little bit of a shortcut. Um, again, this is down two. So it's going at a negative 90. So if I just type two with it locked on that 90, it locks in on that angle for me. I can do four, back up two. See, this is really easy and then out 0.37. Now, from here, I have a little bit of a conundrum, right? I have to come down at an angle and then straight. Um, I don't know exactly where that is currently, so what I'm going to do is stop my line here, and I'm going to come back over here. I'll come out the 6, come up the 1, and then I can just connect to the endpoint using my snaps, um, and then we'll put the radiuses in. I'll show you how to do that uh, next. We're just leaving them out for now. Okay, just kind of like we did when we were on paper where I you know, draw them in and then you put your arc in with the tangents and then trim or erase part of it out. Uh, so I'm going to do a line from the endpoint here. Again, it's six, so I'm going to make sure I line up straight. Type in six, enter. Line up going straight up. One, enter. And then I just connect to my endpoint there. There, I have my basic shape. So now I want to add uh, my fillets, my radiuses, uh, where I round, where these two corners are rounded off and this one is rounded off. To do that, I'm going to go up here. This is fillet right up here at the top. So if I click fillet, um, 
you'll see it comes up down here. To set the radius, I type R enter. Um, it's 0.37 for this radius and this one, so I'm just going to do 0.37 enter. And you click the two lines you want to round the corner of. So I want to round between these two. You can see I get there's my radius. Um, I'm going to hit enter. That restarts the fillet command. I don't have to set the radius for this one because it is 0.37 again. So I'm just going to click my two lines and there's my radius. And then one more time. I do want to set the radius this time because it's 0.5. So I'm going to do 0.5. So R enter and then 0.5 enter. And I want to click here and here. All right, I don't want to repeat fill it again. So this gives me all of my green lines, right? So pretty straightforward. Now to add my dimensions, I'm going to come up here and change my layer. And I'm going to click the dim layer. Uh, and then this is my dimension. I don't like this dimension command. I'm just going to say, I like this one up here. This is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to grab this linear dimension. And it, you just click the endpoint. So I'm going to click this endpoint. I'm going to click this endpoint. And I bring my dimension down and it reads that six inch for me, right? I need right click, repeat dim linear, click this and this. And there's my three. Dim linear. Oops. Grab that endpoint and this one. That gives me the two. one and the four we three seven all right that's everything um linear double check right so I've got the three the one the four the six point three seven two and one, I don't think I put the one on there, did I? Or did I? Now I've got to put the two radiuses on there, but and then I'm done. I don't remember if I got that one or not, though. I didn't, so. One more linear, this point to this point. Give us one. All right. Then if I click the little arrow next to this dim linear, and I do radius, I can then just click the radius of my fillets. And I only need uh, one of these point three sevens. There we go. And that's all for this one.